So now that you've created um, a custom intake form for patients to receive when they book in with you, um, you're going to want to create sort of the consent portion of this intake. You can't do that in the actual custom form. You need to do it in um, the new terms and conditions agreement. Um, so you can create as many as you want of these if you also want to um, create an actual form with your, your terms and conditions. Um, but this is what you'll click to create the consent portion um, that really should be on uh, your intake form, your medical history, whatever you want to call it. So it's very simple. You'll click that um, when you're in the intake form questions, and then you come to this. It's pretty straightforward. You can change this title. So it's, um, I'll just call it consent because it actually sort of runs underneath of um, the initial intake form, so it looks like it, it's part of the same thing. So you can just call it consent, or you can call it, um, you know, initial patient intake consent, whatever you want. And then here is where you'll write um, your actual consent policies, um, terms of service, but I do think, you know, probably most of you have already a consent that is specific to you in your field. Um, if you don't, maybe look around, consult with your legal team to do that, um, because each person is going to be different whether you are able to um, diagnose or, you know, physically treat whatever your scope of practice is um, will somewhat define your consent. So based on that, you'll put it in here. Um, and then this is in here automatically. I have read and agreed to the terms above. It is marked as required. Um, so they have to click that um, to complete this consent. Meaning, you know, or you can also um, edit this. So it says, I've read and agreed to the terms of above and have completed, oops, have completed the intake um, to the best of my knowledge. Something like that. If you also want to go one step further, you could actually add something here saying, you know, please mark your initial stating that the above is true, um, that the above is true, or, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, again, you make it required, and they would just put in their initials, um, because there's actually no signature form here. So I do like to have something that signs off and shows that they have, one, read any um, consents or terms that you've put in here, um, and two, that they have filled it out to completion um, in, to the best of their knowledge and ability. So again, save question if you do want that. Finally, we click that it's, again, only for initial consults, so it will basically go along with that intake form. You save the form. Um, and then again, anytime someone's booking anything under an initial, this will automatically um, show up to them when they're booking, as well as in their confirmation email.